What I love about the Temple of Horus is that it follows the body position of the legs, the body, the, the whole upper torso, and all the things when you go into architecture. And then in this first chamber here, once you walk in the door, it's pretty much about purification. This is where they would come and kind of purify and wash themselves and get ready to approach the inner sanctum inside. I'm gonna catch up with the group now, I'll be right back. Let's transfer address, repeat his body. Having an ox tail, you see that? What that means? It means that he was re-elected. He would eat for more than one time. We are like it. Count. Five minutes, please. Why? Then they go into the wall and they just appear from the side and they get in the thing. When he finishes. This is a chamber off of the purification chamber. It has hieroglyphs here that explain all essential oils and the amounts that you need for each one. And then over here is for the lotus. Here, as in the essential oils of the lotus, and it gets into all different smells and different recipes, and and then how you activate and anoint yourself with oil. Pretty cool. Because, it but this side tells the entire story of Horus, all laid out, all the way around. It's awesome. Bye. Om Namah Shiva Om Namah Shiva Shiva Om Namah Shiva